into the fight and win the fight, but I just think it was a certain point in that fight that I think that it should have been stopped. Oh, oh, you feel like he, you feel like Bill should have stopped the fight? Yeah, because you got to realize. Just taking that punishment can like make you not the same fighter no more. Like you can further on go and fight and don't be the same fighter and can't take the same punches. And it just was a lot of punishment that I seen. And I feel like um it was a certain point in that fight, I think that he should have stopped. And I think like game planning, I think that uh trading with the power puncher, I didn't I ain't like that. I think that it should have been Boxing move, boxing move. Let's have an easy night tonight. And if Ryan want to run into something, we catch him coming in. That's how we going to catch him. But just standing there trading with him and trying to walk him down and sit in the pocket, that wasn't the style to do that with. Now, in certain styles, you can you can amplify that game plan with. And I just don't think that um, Ryan that night, especially with him not even making weight, this dude is clearly – that was part of the game plan it looked like. Like, that was part of the game plan that he wanted to come overweight. And, and, yeah, I agree with that. Take a chance for that. There we go. Oh! oh. So, Shakur Stevenson gave his reaction to Ryan Garcia dropping and beating Devin Haney. Just now on Cigar Talk, Shakur Stevenson made a lot of great points. Devin Haney seemed to really underestimate Ryan Garcia. I mean, leading up to the fight, he said Ryan Garcia is a C-level fighter. However, Ryan Garcia attributes such as his speed and power makes the lack of other departments in his toolbox. It was interesting to see Devin Haney point out Ryan Garcia lack of footwork and his wrong hand positioning. However, on fight night, Devin Haney made them same mistakes. In fact, that's what caused them to get hurt early on. Devin Haney had wrong hand positioning in the first round, the moment he threw the jab. Devin Haney is better than that, but I think he underestimated Ryan. He underestimated Ryan Garcia's skill and how dangerous his speed and power are with his timing the moment he counters you attacking. So Devin should have been on his P's and Q's from the first bell especially when he knew Ryan was gonna jump on him early on. And we know Ryan is a counter puncher by nature. You cannot make ABCD mistakes with your hand positioning, throwing a jab against a hooker who's trying to hook you off your jab. So I don't know if Devin got too comfortable, but this mistake in particular is actually just a bad habit as early as the first round. Devin should have been circling as he was jabbing or play it as defensively sharp as possible. That's what I expected Devin was gonna do. And I think Shakur expected the same thing. Nevertheless, I don't necessarily think Bill should have stopped the fight. Why stop the fight if Ryan can't finish Devin Haney? Devin Haney finessed the situation. Devin Haney was a veteran in there, but so was Ryan Garcia. The way he had a technique turning his back and allowing the referee to break him up every single time. I thought Devin Haney was gonna have something for that, angling behind his shoulder and hooking with the Andre Ward. Devin Haney knows how to do that move. So I don't know why he didn't execute. It could have been a referee thing, but that's why you gotta tell the referee what time it is. Perhaps Devin did, I don't know. However, as far as Bill Haney should have stopped the fight, why do that when Devin Haney had a draw according to the zone on the scorecard? Devin took more punishment, however, he won more rounds. But the rounds, Devin Haney lost to Ryan. He took a lot of punishment and he got dropped in some of them rounds. One thing for sure and two things for certain, due to the fact Ryan missed weight on purpose, and we're talking about 3.2 pounds, that's a hell of an advantage. So it warranties a rematch, especially when the fight was still close. Like I said before, the zone had the fight a draw. It makes business sense. I guarantee you the rematch is actually gonna sell more than the first fight. I think the first fight did well, so let's see the rematch at 147. But it's interesting to hear Shakur Stevenson take because he pretty much was saying that Devin Haney didn't fight smart. Now on Twitter, Shakur Stevenson said, Devin Haney showed a lot of heart. 
He followed up by saying, I got nothing but respect for bravery, but I will never sacrifice my IQ for my heart. Hashtag chasing greatness. I plan on coming out on top and nobody is stopping my dreams from happening. Donkey of the day goes to me because that ninja for sure tricked the heck out of me. I'm in my brain like, no way, this ninja focused on the fight. Impossible. Well, Shakur wasn't the only one because Ryan own fans felt the same way. Uh, Carissa Shield joined him. So did Kermel Moulton by saying the same exact thing. But all of a sudden, all of Ryan Garcia fans and Devin Haney haters, or I should say the Rays fans, they united acting as if they manifested this when they were already making excuses before the fight. We know what time it is. To be continued, Shakur was saying that Devin Haney let Ryan Garcia trick him outside of the ring. Then he followed up by saying he's going to show the world that he truly is the one. Shakur followed up by saying, I could be the shittiest person on the planet, but to be honest with you, I'm not that guy. Much respect to Devin. He fought with a true heart and it just wasn't his night. Then when a fan told Shakur, you love seeing Devin down, he trash. Shakur responded by saying, nah, I'd rather him win this fight. I wanted to be the one to beat him, to be honest. You see, what Shakur Stevenson just said is the point I was making exactly. It didn't matter how much Shakur didn't like Devin. He still want to be the one to beat him. And Shakur is not even talking about the money. He's also talking about the legacy aspect, being the one to take someone undefeated record. However, when it came to Javante, he was celebrating Devin Haney loss. He told Ryan Garcia, man, you can have my real number now. I want to party with you, this, that, and the third. Which is crazy because it's like, does Tank not know he just fumbled the bag as Ryan took money out of his own pocket? Since Tank versus Devin Haney was the biggest fight in boxing before Devin lost to Ryan or the second biggest fight in boxing. So Tank should have been upset, if anything, for delaying the Devin Haney fight and allowing Ryan Garcia to be the one to dare to be great and magically he happened to be Devin Haney. So Tank ended up missing out on a legacy and a money fight. You could say it would have had been his biggest money and his legacy fight at that point. Surely Tank can't be that naive. He way smarter than that. He knows what's going on. And you can't say it's cause Tank hates Devin because I don't think Tank hates Devin as much as Shakur. And even Shakur's first reaction was, I wish Devin Haney won because I wanted to be the first one to beat him and take his undefeated record. We all know Devin Haney is one of their ultimate rivals. On top of that, Tank was going to make way more money fighting Devin than Shakur. We're talking about life-changing money. That's why it's shocking to see Tank celebrate instead of being upset. Shakur, on the other hand, he's talking like a fighter where Shakur could have had learned his lesson from saying he wanted to see Regis beat Devin. A lot of people got on him for saying that by telling him you should be saying you want to be Devin. Why you want someone else to do the job you should be doing? To be fair to Tank though, the difference between Tank and Shakur, Tank actually already beat Ryan who beat Devin. However, Shakur haven't did anything like that. So naturally so Tank is going to root for the guy he already beat because that does make his resume look better when I think about it. But the main point still remains, you want to be the one to take someone O, especially if that's going to be for your biggest legacy day and your biggest payday. Either way, I want to see Shakur versus Ryan. Hopefully Ryan keeps his word and fights Shakur Stevenson next since he said if he can't get the tank rematch, he's going to fight Shakur. However, the weight is going to be the real issue here. Now, for the people that said people are making excuses by saying Ryan missed weight to get an advantage on Devin Haney. That's not an excuse. That's a fact. Losing the last three pounds is the biggest sacrifice a fighter makes while making weight. That's the toughest three pounds to get out of your system. So to the people that say that doesn't make that much of a difference then 
Why do fighters make weight to begin with? There are rules in place for a reason. Therefore, to all of the decafs all around the world, if you guys are gonna claim making weight don't matter, then why do fighters make weight? Why don't they just skip the process of making weight and fight each other without weigh-ins? That's a rhetorical question. Obviously, weigh-ins are put in place in order to even out the playing fields. That's why when Devin fought Ryan, they didn't fight on an even playing field. Ryan came healthier. Ryan came stronger because he did not kill himself making weight. He didn't sacrifice making weight. So he didn't weaken himself. Ryan came in on fight night, not just at 100%. Ryan came in at 110% against Devin Haney. Ryan admitted he did that on purpose in order to have an advantage over Devin Haney on fight night. Why do you think Ryan Garcia happily paid Devin Haney 1.5 million like it was 15 bucks and he was still happy about it? Ryan would have been cool to pay Devin Haney one to two million per pound if that's what it took. Probably even more than that. That's how much worth the advantage was to Ryan. You think Ryan is going to be blowing money like that? Absolutely not. That advantage, 3.2 pounds, was worth more than 1.5 million to Ryan. And that's what it is. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continued on the next episode of Ahi TV. Peace out. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته